the iguana is not uh, not an original piece of this guy. Hey there, folks. Hi, everyone. We are at Vizcaya Museum and Gardens here today in Coconut Grove area of Miami. And uh, it is a large mansion, large estate, right on Biscayne Bay, that it was built by James Deering Estate, uh, or entrepreneur James Deering. 1914 to 1916 they built this so we're going to take a look at the estate and grounds it's a historic building historic estate built adjacent to a subtropical forest at the time we're going to take a tour check it out see some of the collections some of the beautiful estate here one of the neat historic things to do here in miami so we're going to check this out come check it out with us yeah come on let's go the guide if you're interested at 10.30, it's $5 each if you want. It's a very cool historical artifact. There have been several hurricanes that have hit here, uh, especially in the last 30 years. There were multiple hurricanes that did a little bit of damage. And they're working to uh, restore some things. And it's always a challenge in these climates. The subtropical climate always makes it very challenging to keep up with in this environment. Uh, this app, pretty cool, free app. You can do an audio tour. Uh, I wish it would focus on it. There we go, a little bit better. But you can uh, basically use you tours, languages, and you can take an audio tour or you can take a guided tour for a few extra dollars. As I mentioned earlier, it was built closer to the Biscayne Bay and much of the subtropical forest around it was left and that kind of helped shelter it from the city and it survived many hurricanes but it's, uh, it's also got a lot of unique plant life that is only found in the Caribbean and this is the only place it's found in the US so it's, it's beautifully uh, it's very beautifully uh, set in a, in a, in a great, uh, great way in the subtropical setting, it's really beautiful. So let's go into the main house and check it out. All right here you can see they had some statues with peacocks on top of them, but they were deteriorating and they're hoping to offer replicas to restore the garden to its initial look. And this is the sculpture. This is what the peacock looked like. And still have the tropical stuff, and yet not have an environment that decays the collections. from the DuPont estate, always look at the ceiling. So the symbols of the estate, the seahorse and the caravel are in the glass here. And these, uh, looks like these doors used to open up to the courtyard. A dumb waiter here. And this is a staging area for, not, not a kitchen, but it's uh, sort of transitioning from the kitchen and the food preparation into the dining area beyond. 
and they just got things displayed here so that we can see them. Look at all this chinaware. So this is the dining room, looks like. As always, ceiling very detailed. And the uh, instruments here were actually historic objects purchased by James Deering. Well, he did not play most of the instruments here. Many of the historic things here are, were antiques when he bought them. Maybe 1500s, 1600s, 1700s era items. last dome here did not used to be here. It was only added in the last 15 years. This was a completely open courtyard and this was added to help maintain the humidity and keep out uh, some elements of when hurricanes it would help the structure survive a hurricane so they added that. Here's the view outside. really interesting with the 3D, they are able to restore some of the original sculptures. This is one of the sculptures that was out on the barge out on Biscayne Bay after a hundred years of decay. And through 3D they can show how it originally looked clean without the decay and wear of a hundred years. It's really interesting what they can do with some of the technology to restore or at least in some cases just provide replicas that make it look exactly as it was so that you don't see it with elbow wear. And it's a little, a little room for a telephone. And uh, this guy had cutting edge telephone technology in 1916. And it's like a little booth. Upstairs we go. more similarities to the DuPont estate, which actually was constructed around the same time, same time period. Uh, but here's the elevator. Just in case he might need to use a wheelchair or needed to get up and down other than the stairs. Pretty, uh, pretty nice elevator for 1916. He had a number of secret doors between some of these rooms where you could sneak in and enter a room for, through a secret door. Upstairs here we have a spiral staircase and the upstairs is closed. They're doing some restoration work on a skylight up above so you can't access that. You could go down, which we will do in a little bit. Yeah. 
A moment of the view of the gardens beyond. So here's an upper level sort of preparation area and the dumbwaiter that leads to the same space below. And then here we've got the kitchen, which would have been quite modern for 1914, 1916 era. The sensory experience being here apparently, and James Deering really liked the idea of adding some canaries, enough to make a bit of noise, but not so much that it would be deafening. But here's a very old, assuming probably 100 year old bird cage. So there's another set of stairs going up. Let's see what's up top. Well, it's like two more of our bedrooms up here. Exiting the back of Vizcaya, looking out over Biscayne Bay, here's the barge, including many of the sculptures that, uh, that have deteriorated, deteriorated over the years, and they've, I think they believe they've restored and replaced, at least with replicas, some of them. The iguana is not uh, not an original piece of this guy. It's uh, funny how peaceful it is out here near the barge and where the boats can tie off over here. And me and Mrs. Coaster can just sort of chill and enjoy the chilly Miami afternoon. As a kid, this was my favorite part of touring Vizcaya, the indoor-outdoor grotto. Obviously we were in the outdoor part, but there was also an indoor portion where you could swim inside. And the sculptures, and there's a mural inside that is obviously a very difficult challenge to keep up because of the environment being exposed to the weather, but uh, it's supposed to make you feel like you are totally immersed in water. A lot of steps going down into the grotto here. We'll uh, zoom in a little bit to see what we can see from the outside. easy to see being a little bit of a little bit of view there is you know there's quite a, a detailed ceiling and a mural that was painted on plaster so not necessarily designed to last a hundred years but they're trying they're working on uh, trying to get that restored as best can and at least preserve it for now they do offer separate tours behind the scenes tours of the grotto so if you want to take a more detailed tour and explore it you can What would an estate be without a proper garden? Very nice and peaceful out here in the gardens. Really uh, are kind of fenced off or uh, you know isolated from the city city noise a little bit, with the exception of airplanes. 
do hear the airplanes coming over because we're not that far off the flight pattern from Miami International Airport. So we can hear the grottos in the garden area and it's just uh, it's made from coral and some sculpture. It's a lot of detail. Even with the 100 years of deterioration, you still see a lot of detail. But check out the inside of these grotto areas. It's very cool. Interesting work here in the floor. Some benches. That's really interesting. Another identical grotto over here. And then the waterfalls. All right, so that's going to wrap up Vizcaya for us today. Well, uh, James Deering, a very private guy. They don't know about as much about him as uh, in his private life as they might have liked to have hoped uh, for at some point. So what did you think? Did you enjoy it, Mrs. Coaster? Yeah, it was lovely. It was nice and historical look. Yeah. Really old. Really nice to uh, tour the historic uh, home and the gardens. Different than... Mm. Ringling or Biltmore, and yet sort of the same. Yeah, you you get uh, with some of these, uh, you get some of the same. You can recognize certain things uh, in, when they're constructed around the same period. So really interesting. Thanks for watching. Like, like, subscribe, comment below if you've been to Vizcaya. Tell your friends about us. Remember, have a have good, a good time, time all the time. time.